regarded as the greatest female athlete in Kansas history. The basketball and track and field star from Claflin High School give a rousing welcome to Jackie Stiles. Final inductee in the athletes category is Jackie Stiles of Kansas. Jackie Stiles is regarded as the greatest female athlete in Kansas history after her storied career at Claflin High School in the mid 1990s. She averaged 35 points a game in her basketball career and an amazing 46 points a game in her senior season. Thanks to her relentless practice schedule, Stiles made 58% of her field goal attempts. I don't know what it was, but our teacher would call each one of us up to her desk and uh, she asked us, you know, what we wanted to be when we grew up. And I, without hesitation, said, I want to play professional basketball. And that was before, you know, we even had professional basketball for women in the U.S. But I just had that vision that basketball was, uh, was what I loved, what I was passionate about, and I knew that's what I wanted to do. And, you know, from that young of age, and I look back now, I mean, what a blessing that was to, at second grade, know what I was going to do with my life. You know, when Jackie was playing, you know, there was just an electric atmosphere around here. The girls varsity usually did not take the court until like 6.15. But at four o'clock in the afternoon, the gym was being packed by people who would have to sit through a JV girls game. They'd have to sit through a JV uh, boys game. And they got to the main event, which was watching the Claflin girls play. And, uh, you know, the atmosphere, no one wanted to miss any of that. Um, it was the third game of my sophomore season. And I broke my right wrist. And so I had to sit out four weeks. I was devastated, never had to miss a practice a game or anything. So I end up um, teaching myself how to play left-handed because my cast went past my elbow. And uh, so I, in that time I, I just did all left-handed. I got to go out and play for four weeks with the uh, soft cast on. Um, I got my cast off right before playoffs and you know, being immobilized for eight weeks, I my muscle had atrophied, I was pretty weak. So my shot was a little inconsistent. And it just so happened, it's the semis of the state tournament. And we win this game, we'll uh, play for a state championship. And I had the worst performance of my career. It was so bad that I still to this day remember what I was from the field. I was four out of 21 shots. And, you know, we only lost by a couple points. So I just was, you know, embarrassed. I felt like I let my team down. And, uh, you know, it would have been so easy for me to just say, you know, I'm not going to invest this much. I'm not going to keep working this hard at the game of basketball. But I decided, you know what, I want to be better than even before this injury. And that's when I vowed to make a thousand shots every day. And I made a thousand shots until uh, basically my freshman year in college. And my college coach was like, there's no way you're going to be able to keep that up and play Division One basketball with the travel and, and your academics. So then I changed to more of quality over quantity workout. Stiles played four sports at Claflin and registered a remarkable achievement in track and field. She helped her team to two state titles and won 14 out of a possible 16 events in her four years at the state track meet. As a junior, she won the 400, 800, 1600, and 3200, all in one day. Well, this, is, this track's one of a kind because never in any of our other conference meets did we have to run on a uh, dirt track. So. Um, Definitely didn't run my best times on this track, but it's uh, one of a kind, so I'll, I'll never forget it. <laughs> I'm so happy that I did all four sports in high school. I did cross country and tennis in the fall, and then course basketball, and then track in the spring. And you know, I, I really look back and I have such fond memories um, from those different experiences in the different sports. And I, I feel like those sports helped me in my main sport, which was basketball. And even though I did all the other sports, I continued basketball year round. I mean, I still, when I was doing cross country and tennis, would come in here and get my shots up. And when I was running track, I would still play AU basketball. Um, so I, I still kept up with basketball year round, but I really enjoyed the other sports. Rebound comes down to Carly here, long pass down for it. This could be it. Jackie right side, layup, good! And there it is! Jackie Stiles, the all-time leading Missouri Valley Conference scorer, a standing goal.
at the Hammond Student Center. Everybody knows about that. Styles' fame expanded to the national level at Missouri State University as she became the all-time leading scorer in NCAA Division I women's basketball history. Jackie, three-pointer left side. Yes! Boom! There it is! Jackie Styles with 20 points, and she is the all-time scoring queen in NCAA history. She scored almost 3,400 points and led her team to the 2001 NCAA Women's Final Four. I actually narrowed it to three schools. It was Missouri State, UConn, and Kansas State. And it's a true story, I hate to admit it, but I was really struggling at this point on which school because I thought all, school, all three schools would have been a great fit for me. And so I, I saw this advertisement on TV for a psychic hotline. So uh, I called the psychic and I'm like, you know, you only had so many minutes free. So I'm like, look, I just have one question. I can't decide where to play college basketball. And, I told her my three choices, and she's like, well, personally, I'm a Tennessee Lady Vols fan, so I'd like to see you go there, but um, I, I knew, so she's like, well, I guess UConn, so needless to say, uh, the psychic really didn't have great advice for me, but I actually signed a letter of intent to play at UConn, and I was going to sleep on it, and if it felt right, I was going to send it in the next day, and um, I knew when I got up the next morning, in my heart, it wasn't where I wanted to go. It, and I wanted to go to Missouri State. I'm so glad I listened to my heart because it was the best decision of my life. I had an amazing four years there. Wow, I'm, I'm truly honored and, and humbled that, wow, they would pick me. Um, and, and when I heard there was only like, I don't know, nine athletes, coaches, officials in the whole state of Kansas, and I'm one of those, I'm just, I don't know, I'm speechless. Like, words can't describe what it means to me. And, but I share this with so many people from you know, my mom working two or three, two and three jobs so I could have all the basketball opportunities that I needed to develop and my dad putting the ball in my hands at a young age and, you know, all the many coaches, I mean, from my high school coach, um, Clint Kinneman and Greg Webb and then my on to my college coaches that, you know, were amazing, Coach Burnett. I mean, I had so many people that played a part in this and, and I share it with all of them and I'm, I'm just very grateful um, to be receiving this honor. Our final honoree tonight is the outstanding basketball star who averaged 46 points per game as a senior at Claflin High School in Kansas and later became the leading scorer in NCAA Division I history. Ladies and gentlemen, give a rousing welcome to Jackie Stiles. And presenting the Hall of Fame medallion to Jackie Stiles is Gary Musselman, Executive Director of the Kansas State High School Activities Association.